Hello guys, welcome to Let's Talk Diesel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the stoplight. You know, that red light that no driver wants to see over the road. And first things, okay, you need to make sure which light is on in your dash. Because sometimes the driver call us and they say, oh, there is this light on. And usually, if you say a red light, there are a couple of red lights in the dashboard. Like, for example, uh, you will see right now when I'm turning on the ignition on this. His case, you see the brake air, the brake, the battery light, and the triangle light that you see around this area in here. Even the seatbelt light is red. So, when you call first, you need to make sure it's the stop light which is on. Okay? And as you can see, again, you see, it says stop, okay? All right, now that we are sure the stoplight is on, okay? One, the first reason why the stoplight could be on, it's the coolant level. That's the really common issue, okay? So what do you do? If you see the say sometimes on this kind of dash in the newer in the newest trucks they say coolant level low on this part of the dash okay in the older one in the older ones like 2010 and below sometimes you don't have that uh, message because it is yeah, this dashboard doesn't show anything it's just like numbers mileage or something like that but the newer trucks it shows okay so that's the first thing you need to check the coolant level make sure it's filled up to them onto the max when it's cold not when it's really hot if your engine is running just let it cool off for a few minutes at least 10 minutes and then check the level all right guys remember that you need to inspect for coolant leaks if you see like the coolant level is dropping really fast like after a few minutes the light turns on again you have to be sure there is no a big coolant leak otherwise you might need to fix it over the road just to make sure that you can protect the engine for the second reason why the stoplight uh, could be on is engine overheating this relates to the coolant and the oil could be the oil temperature is really high or the coolant level is really high the coolant temperature it's really high so just make sure okay that you check all the time that's the reason why we tell the drivers every time you take a few moments to fuel fuel uh, try to check the coolant level and oil level that takes only 10 minutes to check Maybe less than that. And believe me, that's gonna save you a lot of troubles over the road, especially for owner operators because they had to put money from their own pockets when it comes to repairs, all right? That's the second reason. Oil and coolant temperature could be, uh, your engine could be overheating and that's the reason why uh, the stoplight is turning on. To be sure, okay, the temperature it's okay you see there is a good reason why this part and this side is red if if the needle goes beyond the red part it means your engine is overheating and usually a message is gonna pop up in the screen okay in the in the this newer in the newer structs the newer ones like 2010 and up let's put it that way uh and related to the oil level, to the oil temperature in these trucks for example in these Freightliners you can see you see you even have the transmission oil temperature the one you see here right now okay uh, we have the uh, this is the oil temperature okay you see it's okay uh, if uh, that one goes up believe up to above 260 Fahrenheit I believe the uh, warning sign is gonna turn on the stoplight uh, but just make sure 
at all the times that the temperature is in range okay that's the second reason why the stoplight could turn on the third reason is like the oil pressure could be low or really low so there is another reason why you have a oil pressure uh, level gauge in here you see uh, each engine has uh, their own specs related to the oil pressure usually if right liners uh, their range is below 50 or uh, between 10 psi to 50 psi if, if you are uh, if you hit the gas it should be get, is when the engine is really hot it should go up to 30 or 40 okay so that's the third reason why the stoplight could be on because the oil pressure is really low so when you are driving and you see that everything else is all fine the first two things i say from the beginning they are okay pay attention to the oil level it might tell you here even in the dash will tell you it was gonna tell you i'm pretty sure the oil level is really low the oil pressure is really low and also as i told you before make sure the oil level is fine i repeat again the oil level it's in the max okay and if you are really really curious you can even check the thickness of the oil you, if you touch a couple times the oil and there is something like coolant or fuel going to the oil you will feel the difference right away you will see it okay so that's gonna be the third reason why the stoplight could be on okay now the four reason the four reason usually the driver can do anything about it because the four reason is the dpf might be clogged you see the stoplight turn it on and probably you will see the region light on but when the filter is clogged uh, if the region can take place it might clean it it might and i say might clean it not sure about that guys okay because uh it, it, it could be like the uh, the D, the the dpf injector is not working properly also known as the seven injector is not working or oh, other little things like there is a, a excessive smog or uh coolant going to the dpf filter and other things but that could be the full reason why the stoplight is on the dpf is go out okay and the fifth reason why the stoplight could be on is you have problems with the def system or ser unit it means probably your truck is on due rate not going more than five miles per hour and usually there is nothing you can do about it especially trucks where the when the rpm is locked you can do anything about it usually you need to tow it okay but this is a, a small video explaining why the stoplight could be on in your truck all right guys this is another reason why the stoplight could be on in your truck but this one only applies for volvo and max because usually volvo turns on the stoplight when the low system air pressure shows okay and as you can see right now since the truck uh since the engine is not running and it's not building air the light is on and you see it shows a stop like for example if the coolant were low but in this case is the air pressure system what is low it's a good feature from volvos and mac trucks because uh it shows the driver that first they need to build air in order to move the vehicle in other manufacturers like Kenworth uh, International Freightliner, they don't tell you to stop. They just show you that the low, there is a low air pressure, but it doesn't show the stop sign coming on. So this is a part only for Volvos and Max. Okay, guys. Uh, 
a small uh, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel we already reached thousand subscribers and everything is thanks to you guys I know I'm trying to explain as as easy as I can so you guys can understand and I don't like to have the mumble jumbo thing that all say oh you have to check this really expects so things like that because when the driver breaks down over the road he needs things simple so they he can move uh, as fast as they can so they can fix little things by themselves okay and thank you i hope uh you guys owner operators uh, i hope this uh, this video really help you over the road uh thanks for watching and subscribe for more i'll see you in my next video bye